What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> it's your boy Spear, baby. Kill. Yeah. And we back with another timeless message. Nine times out of ten, if you're here right now, this message is probably meant for you. So take a resonate, leave the rest out. Everything is for the highest good and the harm and No deception, no trickery. Let's dive right into it. But it got barrels on top of that car. But, um, yeah, like I said, once again, this will be a timeless message. I really ain't got no specific intention or specific message coming through is just gonna be timeless and we're gonna see what spirit has to say to us for the highest good and harm none with the most benevolent outcomes so i got a couple of my dicks right here and we're gonna see what i want to pull out of i want to pull out of my handmade oracle because once again i'm looking at reverse uno and my last time in this message uh it was about reverse uno so we could still be in this energy of god returning to sender or reversing all negative hatred envy hisses curses spells bad luck or things spoken over your life is being reversed so you finally releasing all these energies that have been placed upon you that are not even yours so you can fully live in your destiny so let's dive right into it start off with a quick quick prayer thank you absolute source thank you spirit guys and all divine beings that come through in this message i ask that everything that comes from this message is for the highest good no harm and none with no deception and no trickery ask our angel michael to please come in and protect us on all sides throughout all time spaces places dimensions realms and localities remove all negative entities hexes curses spells demons negative alien interference or anything else negatively interfering with us manipulating us or manipulating our energy please remove all hexes curses spells projections or anything else negatively affecting us protect us through our all time space places and dimensions and remove all negative energy from us and protect us amen 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 let's dive right into it so we're going to dive into my handmade oracle the first deck so we're looking at reverse uno so you know energies you could have been dealing with that aren't yours or coming against you are finally being not saying finally because they probably always been reversed but now it's the end of the road. Like, no more happening and everything that comes your way will automatically be reversed back to center. So you can stay focused on what you're supposed to be doing. Dive right into it. Like I say always, this is a timeless general message. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. So, you know, kind of fill in the blanks with two, two, two. Fill in the blanks with what you're supposed to be doing. We got angel in disguise. You understand? So, Bert, angel in disguise. So, you could be some angels in disguise. People might not know that that's what you are. You've been used by God, so people won't know that you're an angel. And then, all the time, you've been an angel, and that was the test. So, let's dive right into it. For that, it's good. Oh, I'm looking at this. I'm like, what's that hanging on the camera? This little light. Let's dive right into it start off with my handmade oracle one side so you could be an angel in disguise hawk yeah i've been seeing hawks like crazy so you could be seeing hawks this is uh higher dimensions your spirit guides ancestors connecting with you so you could be seeing hawks at this time that is your sign Let's see what else we get hawk spirit is around you at this time we got lapis lazuli I ain't put the last word out of version. 33 on the clock as I said it. So you probably will want to get you some lapis to protect your psychic space, your third eye, your throat chakra, all those good things. Help you with a little extra psychic protection. I heard it also good to ward off the evil eye. So get you some lapis. See, I just pulled that out of my pocket. Let's see what else we get. So these are just signs and symbols. So you could be... You know, have a piece of lapis around you. You could have just got a piece of lapis. You could be connecting more with the energy of lapis. Or this spirit just letting you know you should tap into the energy of lapis. You also got hawk. So you got the hawk spirit coming through. The higher perspective. Higher dimensions. Let's see what else we get. What else do we have? What else do we have, spirit? For the highest good and on with the most benevolent outcomes. Sacral chakra. I just knew that was going to come out. So you was... Because I've been feeling my sacral chakra be on 10 the last couple of days. Sacral chakra. You could be going through some sacral chakra upgrading, some healing and releasage at this time. So you're tapping more into your sacral chakra at this time. Spirit is healing you when it comes to your sacral chakra so that you can. Sirens in the back. You can manifest better. You can create better into this world. 444 on the clock as I say that. And be protected as you create. All negative energies won't be able to disrupt you as you try to create and be a creator in this world. That's what all that sacral chakra energy is about. You're being divinely protected. 
It also says you're pregnant. Congratulations. So some of y'all could be birthed in a new idea, could be birthed in a new life. Some of y'all could be physically birthed in a child, but that ties heavily into the sacral chakra energy. Your sacral chakra is being healed, stimulated, and activated, and you are being blessed with a new life, new project, new creations, or even a new life, a separate new life, uh, to uh, birth so you're preg pregnant congratulations so spirit is filling you with all the energies that you need at this time let's get about one or two more from here powerful powerful so you're being led at this time divinely protected as you give birth to these new energies this new lifetime this new timeline karma Mm -mm -mm. So we had karma and we had Archangel Zachariah. That'll be the last two out of this side. So we had karma and Archangel Zachariah. So you are releasing some karma at this time. Some people are getting their karma, but you're heavily releasing some karma at this time that is blocking you because we had Archangel Zachariah come through. So that is the angel, the Archangel of the Violet Flame, which the Violet Flame um, transmute all negativities, karmas that can be released and anything else that could be purified with the violet flame. It's the most intense trans transmuting energy there is. And you have our angel Zachariah at this time helping you transmute all energies that are blocking you and helping you transmute any karma that's also blocking you. So yeah, you're releasing karma at this time. Let's dive into the next side. So you're releasing karma so you can give birth to this new life. Because if you still got that karma on you, then it's going to follow you into this new life and pretty much bring your new life down. Karmic lesson. So you learn a, a karmic lesson. As I was saying it, if you bring this karma, this karmic lesson into the new lifetime, you're just going to go through the same thing. You're going to be back, back at the same position as before. You're going to be going through the same things because you didn't learn the lesson. You didn't tap into the karma of the situation or the karma of the energy and fully learn the lesson of it and release it. That's what the universe that is spirit leading you to do right now fully learn this karmic lesson whatever the case may be and release it i'm getting some with a narcissist so we had narcissists right on the karmic lesson so your karmic lesson could have been with a narcissist a person that wants to control manipulate or fully just hold you down when really the karmic lesson was i'm getting for you to stand up for yourself Walk away from this situation and do what's best for you. That was whole, I mean, the, pretty much the, 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 the gist of the whole karmic lesson. Put, you know, put yourself first and release this person. Release the karma from his narcissistic energy and fully step into your power and new timeline. Because you're pregnant and you're trying to give birth to this new life. But you can't give birth to this new life with a narcissist around you or a person that's draining you from your energy and holding you back in a previous cycle that you no longer resonate with. 808 on the clock as I say that. So you got to tap into the energy of love, self-love, love for everybody. Forgive them for they know not what they do, but you need to love yourself and know to know what you're doing and walk away and step into this new timeline. Let's get one more. One more to close it off. One more to close it off. What flew out? Sneaky link. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. We had sneaky links, and that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Let me clarify this. You ain't got to talk about it no more. It's the end of the lesson. It's the end of the... Of those cards so they're spirit saying that's enough and also that's enough for the energy but you had sneaky link this could be somebody oh lordy i almost got scared but no <laughs> sneaky link is this could this person could a been a sneaky link you're pregnant congratulations sacred chakra yeah i'm not getting you pregnant from this person i'm getting you pregnant with a new life and this person is trying to hold you back it could be a sneaky link they could be trying to get you pregnant but you know take that how that resonates oh this is a narcissist narcissist sneaky link oh uh, they want to keep you as a sneaky link a narcissist but our angel zekaya coming in to help you release this karma from this energy and tap into love they can't even be a sneaky they they don't even have to be a sneaky link it could be some part body you just sneak around with period like you don't want to show the world to or whatever the case may be or this person is just sneaky period so this is a narcissist they could have a sneaky link. I don't know. I don't want to get too confused in the energy, but that's all, folks. The universe is releasing you from this person, this situation, this narcissistic energy, releasing the karma from it so you can fully step into this new lifetime. I mean, lifetime, new timeline. <laughs> okay, let's dive into uh, the next deck, which will be 
the soul's journey. So let's see what they got to say for the has been. So you are releasing a person that is holding you back in a cycle. They might see you as a sneaky link. You probably seeing them as your love and they your sneaky link. It's deep. I don't know. Yeah, you got to release this narcissistic energy. Tap into the energy of love, which is loving yourself. Give yourself all that love again and give birth to this new life that you that the universe is trying to set you up with. Let's see what we get from the soul's journey from the highest good and the home known with the most of the outcomes. But your sacral chakra energy, you're pregnant. Congratulations. Nobody pregnant. Well, you could be, but I'm getting you pregnant with a new life. The universe is trying to make you birth this new life. But you kind of, you know, the only thing holding you back is this little last karmic lesson. It could be with a narcissist, a sneaky link. I don't know. Death Ooh. in relationships. So it is about a relationship, putting an end to this, <laughs> this situation ship. This sneaky ship, this narcissist, narcissist ship. I don't know, I'm just making up words, but putting an end to this narcissistic energy. 11 11 on the clock, as I say, that this person is trying to keep you as a sneaky link. I don't know, because you're pregnant with a whole new life. Your sacral chakra is being cleansed and healed, but it can't be doing that if you keep going back to the same energies and knocking it back off. You get what I'm saying? So the first card we had was death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So it's a death to this situation, a death to this cycle, a death to this lesson. You learned the lesson. A death to this relationship, to this narcissistic, narcissistic energy. Death. Death is an illusion. It's a fact of life that the human body we use to travel the earth must eventually stop working. It's not meant to exist forever. The energy and consciousness that inhabited that body is free and returns to its natural home, but it never abandons us. Learn to view death as merely a change, and everything must change. 12, 12 on the clock as I say that. Because stagnancy, stagnancy extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship, that's what we're doing car, or a career. A soul lesson, karmic lesson, a soul lesson may be completed. And it is time to move beyond this point of familiar, familiar, familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. That's, that's what they're saying. You learn the karmic lesson from this situation, this relationship, and now it's time to move beyond it. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shared part of your path and taught you so much. So forgive them because... They really helped you, push you closer into loving yourself and creating a life that you wouldn't have done if you would have been stagnant or never learned this lesson. So, you know, be grateful. Sometimes they hurt our feelings or treat us ways that, you know, ain't so good. Or, or, or can't make you think of a reason to thank them. But 13, 13 on the clock, as I said, it, it's all for the high good. The next card and final card out of this deck is relationships. So, death to relationships. It's the end into certain relationships in your life. It's a general message, so take it how it resonates. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good relationships. In this three-dimensional world, in which we live, there is a sense that we are separate from one another and that also we meet by chance. This is an illusion. The people in our lives are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationships with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in your life, you must see what is not resolved or whole in the person and understand the lessons he or she brings home to you. You draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. The people you have close relationships with on earth are usually members of your soul family. You have chosen to incarnate together to help each other learn lessons. It's all about lessons. You learned the lessons. Now it's time to level up. Even though it may not seem that way to you now. Once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person fades away. People are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. So it's a death to a relationship. You know, don't be sad when these people got to go away because they taught you the lesson that they needed to teach. And some people will stay, but if they not fully learning the lessons and staying on the same frequency as you, then they got to fade away. 
And they not really going nowhere because on the soul level, they love you. But on the physical level, they still got their own lessons to learn. So what it is, what it is. It is what it is. Get into the next day. Chakra wisdom. Let's see what our chakras got to sell us. About this message. Let's see what they got to say for the highest good and the harm and the most benevolent outcomes. Hit me up at Dunkin' Donuts with them free donuts. Release and miracle. <laughs> Release. First call we have is release. So this is the universe. Then you know, majorly, it's time to release something. Person, there is a relationship. It's time to fully release it. It's no longer serving you. It's time to release. And she in a graveyard full of death. So it, it is most definitely a death coming about right now. And it's time to fully release it. It could be death to a situation, a relationship. Heavy on the relationship. So you got to release it. Release, Shadow Gray Storm. I can no longer keep your secrets. Nikita cuts through the graveyard as she rushes home in the wind and rain. She is terrified when Shadow Gray Storm appears and speaks in her own voice, repeating painful things she said to herself and others. It's all your fault. I'll never forgive any of you. As she listens in the rain to her own words, she learns it is she who has been making herself miserable. She leaves the gra graveyard with a changed heart, ready to forgive herself and others. This is about personal responsibility and release of blame. It is time to clear the debris and move on. You cannot move forward while you continue to hide. The personal inquiry is, this indicates family, healing family of origin issues. Am I ready to face my past and let go? So that's what it is fully telling you it's time to fully let go the key ideas are release dwelling on the past righteous anger change in consciousness judgment day seeing clearly hidden truth and great discovery the key words are healing remission and integration it's time to release it heal it and integrate it the final card out of this is miracle so after you release this you can tap into some miracle energies miracle you got to release it. You got to forgive everybody because they they pretty much did what they were supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? God, everybody set it up how it's supposed to be set up. So it ain't no point of blaming. You can just be grateful that this lesson came to you and you won't have to learn it farther down in, in life. So miracle. Sun sparkler. Integrity, integrity is what turns on the light. Dark Villa is a town of self-centered people. One day, Betty is given too much change after making a purchase, and she returns the extra money. A brilliant light bursts from the stump of a dead oak tree in the center of the town. The citizens are bewildered by the sudden brightness, but neither question the sun sparkler nor change their cheating ways. One day, a child asks it why it came. It tells her that it shines for all that is good in the world and appears when a good deed occurs. The residents of, are, of Darkville are touched and become more selfless. The inspiration is, do you let someone in or do you pretend not to see them? You cannot, you cannot shut out pain without shutting out pleasure. So you got to embrace the pain, heal it so you can release it. So then you can embrace pleasure. So if you keep holding on to this pain, then you will never fully experience the, ble the pleasure or the blessings that the universe has for you. Kindness exists to lend magic to integrity. The personal inquiry is the essence of inspiration is integrity. Can I be counted on? The key ideas are being a light, lighting the way for others, and coming miracles. The key words are integrity, gifts, and rewards. So even if other people might hold on, be bitter, be self-centered people, you won't have to be that, and you can be an inspiration to others your kindness 
can lead the way to others. Whether they follow you or not, they have to always be reminded that your kindness is what, you know, keeps you going or your kindness makes miracles and magic happen in your life. That's what it's all about, standing your integrity. You don't have to turn and be like other people just because they hold pain in, resent. No, nah, you can heal it, release it, and be that change in the world. You can be the only one that's not being like everybody else, and then you can show people this is the way to go. 2020, as I say that. So you can see a different way. So it's time to release. So you can tap into miracles. How do you expect to experience pleasure if you are holding on to pain? What else we can pull out of? It ain't got to be too long. Let me, close it out. Let me close it out with the Light Sears Oracle. They'll finalize this releasing period. We got right to it for the highest good and harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. I can't wait to get my hair done, you guys. It still look good, but it's just real well. <laughs> Let's see what the light seer has to say for the highest good and harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, amen, amen. First card we got is Two of Pentacles. Why do we got two of pentacles? Then we got strength. So we want more two. Two. Okay, 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 okay. First card we had is two of pentacles. Balance. Balance in the spiritual and the material. Let me pull out the book. Two of pentacles. A need, a need to balance many aspects of self, juggling obligations, equilibrium, and seeking harmony. Two, 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 two on the clock as I say that. With all those roles and responsibilities that you've been juggling, you may be feeling a little imbalance. Be, busy much. Maybe your calendar is totally overbooked and you're feeling the stress of being stretched in too many directions. You may be feeling the need to better balance dualities or its opposing aspects of your life. Your time alone versus your time with others or your material life versus your spiritual life. Make sure you aren't investing too many resources in one area at the expense of another, especially when both are equally as important. Even though this card suggests that you're likely able to manage it all, do you desire this much juggling? Put some of your precious energy into creating a balance that you absolutely love, one that would allow you to time to work play love and create this equilibrium will not take you from your reserve of energy but will add to it i create an equilibrium in my life that allows me to be my best self so the universe needs you to create an equilibrium right now so that you continue to have all the energy that you need for yourself you won't burn yourself out and you don't put too many buckets in one thing so you got to balance the spiritual and the material and keep that equilibrium Universe is putting you into balance at this time and creating an equilibrium where you can do your spiritual practices, do your spiritual things, and bring them into the material and manifest them. The next card we had is strength. Number eight. So the rest of the cards were major arcana. So that two of pentacles was letting you know that you're coming into a balance. You're able to do all the things that you need to do and want to do at a healthy, balanced state, and your energies won't never be able to die down. The next card we have is strength. Courage, calmness, quiet strength, influence, graceful leadership, gifted healer, purity of thought and heart, spiritual matters, compassion, sometimes lust or animal instinct. Be brave, sweet seer. Embody your light and shine courageously in the face of danger or uncertainty uncertainty step into patience and fierce serenity as you exert your graceful influence for the greater good so hopping into a leadership position to influence the collective for the greater greater good 
There is great fortitude in your calm heart, and a gentle demeanor will not be mistaken for weakness when you share your gift or relentless love with the world. Allow confidence and composure to guide you toward your desires without the use of excessive force or aggression. Mindful awareness will be much more useful than rigid control right now. This card reminds you to stand strong in your beliefs and desires and to remain steady as you bring compassion to your current situation. You are powerful and your purity of heart will be a beacon of strength and inspiration to those around you. Like the miracle miracle card was saying, you stepping into your integrity and you staying kind will lead you into more miracles and magic. And it will, it will be inspiration to others so they don't have to feel like they have to be so tough or act a certain type of way, which leads them out of their self and won't lead them to what they truly trying to get. I deliberately bring my compassion and strength forward and I use them for the greater good. So you're using your strength and compassion for the greater good. Releasing people, giving that compassion to those who need it and sharing it with the world, which in turn will help the world share it with the world. You get what I'm saying? The next card is Death and Rebirth, number 13. Death and Rebirth. Cycles of Transformation, Rebirth. So you're pregnant, congratulations, because you're going through a rebirth. Cycles of Transformation, Rebirth, Transition, Change, New Beliefs, Newfound Awareness, Endings, a, symbol, a Symbolic Death, an Initiation Process. So you're going through a major initiation at this time. You are on the cusp of a massive transformation, and it's time to mourn the end of one phase while celebrating the birth of another. This energy of transmutation and rebirth signals a beautiful, beautiful metamorphosis that will allow you to expand your consciousness and move closer to your own divine essence. A cycle in your life, a relationship, a belief, a career path, or an outdated plan for the future is coming to an inevitable end. Deep breath in. If it scares you, sweet light, this change is needed. Know that this card urges you to release what is already losing energy and to focus on things that are already gaining momentum. Welcome the possibility of something new and allow this phase to come to a graceful end. Look toward the magic of this newfound horizon because underneath its morbid exterior, the death card heralds exciting times filled with the brightness of so much potential. New light awakens. New light awaits. I allow myself to let go of the past in order to add energy to new beginnings. So, Delph, you got to let go of the past so you can birth, you know, this new life. You're pregnant. You're pregnant with a new life, and now the universe needs you to birth thee. But in order for you to birth thee, you got to let go of the past. Because what, you going to birth the past? That shit makes no sense. You're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. So, the final card we got is the wheel. Ten. Closing out this cycle, living up. So confirmation on you leveling up, closing out one cycle, going into another, and going through this initiation process. So number 10, the wheel. Changes, fate, destiny, a lucky break, cycling up through karmic lessons. Confirmation. The chaos of creation, a turning point in serendipity. Get ready, sweet soul, for the wheel is about to gift you divine blessings and miracles. Synchronicity is afoot, so look for wonderful new opportunities to prepare your life ahead. Be prepared for fort fortuitous meetings or a fork in the path that will change everything for the better. If you're op open to spotting opportunity, it's yours for the taking. Just follow the breadcrumbs of serendipity and faith toward your happy endings. Remember that the wheel is always spinning and that things are never the same as they were before. Learn to enjoy this constant regeneration and know that with every spin, we have the chance to cycle upward toward our own expansion and enlightenment. Time con trying to control the outcome of the wheel of fortune will prove to be impossible, so don't release control at this time. Grab your lucky dice and see the spinning of the wheel for what it really is. All the beauty of a lifetime of experiences waiting to spring forth and be lived. I allow the transformation, transformative energies of faith help me to expand my experience. So you are expanding your experience at this time. You are living it up out of karmic cycles and going into a new cycle. Full of miracles, blessings, and abundance. You learned the karmic lessons and now karmic lessons and now it's time to release them and put a death to them. 
So I hope this resonated. Thank you, Absolute Source. Thank you, Spirit Guys, and all the divine beings that come through in this message. Please release all energies that might have came through that are not for the highest good and send healing, blessings, and anything else anyone may need watching this for the highest good and harm and none with the most benevolent outcomes to them. And for the highest good and harm and none with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, amen, amen. If you like to book a personal message, you can book me now through my email. My readings are on sale through my re through my email only for $22.22. My email is insomniacdreams, LLC, at gmail.com. You can also book me on my website at insomniacdreams369.com, but my readings are not on sale over there. So you can do what you want to do when you go on that website. Also, I got some products over there. Check them out. Tap into your boy. Other than that, have a blessed, abundant time, man.